Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as usual, we are with a special guest today. We always try to give something new for you and uh, just to develop your confidence and uh, to make you have an interest to do English literature as a subject. So uh, we have a special person today. Here's uh, Ms. Teja Kapuruge. Uh, hello, Teja. Everything is Hi. good? Yes, of course. Yes. Thank you. Thank okay. you for the invitation. Yes, right. You're welcome. And uh, also, I would like to introduce her, uh, Ms. Teja Kapuruge, with her experience as a lecturer. And also, currently, she is reading for her master's in English language and literature. So with all these experience, let's start our discussion. Uh, you all know, uh, today our discussion, it is based on one of your dramas, uh, Othello. Uh, so let's uh, share our ideas and I'm going to ask, actually Teja, these questions are not my questions. All these questions are uh, suggested by our students. So uh, we are expecting uh, some tips, some suggestions, uh, uh, some ideas about this drama from you. Okay, so uh, right. Uh, Teja, this is uh, most of the students suggested this question. Um, actually, uh, Othello uh, or like Shakespearean dramas are recommended for A levels. And uh, we also ask our students to uh, select one, one from Shakespeare's, uh, uh, one of Shakespearean drama. So, uh, but the thing is, most of the students, they are reluctant to select. Uh, Shakespearean dramas, especially because of the language. So how can we uh, help them? Can you share your yeah. ideas, like how to make them familiar with the Shakespearean language? Yeah, actually that's a good question, Ms. Kavindi, because many of the students are really afraid of selecting Shakespearean dramas just because of the reason that you told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but actually there's nothing to worry. The first thing is that everybody says that it's really difficult and the language is archaic language, but it's not like that. Basically, I believe uh, as a student, that's how I started. If we are going to read the drama with a kind of a simple explanation with it, that would be really easy. And the other part is completely depend on the teachers in order to make the students attracted to these dramas because I'm telling you this just because if as teachers, if we are going to get give them the story in a beautiful way, if we are going to make them a kind of a nice picture about the drama within their inward die, probably I think that will make them read the drama. Yeah. And the other thing is, I really believe that they can go through some YouTube videos as well as there are so many drama versions where they have the original version in one side and the other version and, the, and on the other page, they have the simple version of that. So that will really help them in order to have an idea about the drama. At the same time, very common phrases like thou art, thou. So we can give them the meaning of them. Then they can understand very easily what is there inside the drama. For example, thou means you. Mm -hmm. So when they get to know those simple phrases or the words, that will be really easy for them to understand the drama. In Especially the his, you know? yeah. Yeah. Yes, in a, because that will be really easy because then they will understand his poems as well as dramas very easily. I'm quite sure of it. Okay, so uh, then uh, we know like uh, all the writers or dramatists when they write uh, that uh, they, are, they, they, they belong to different eras. So they, every era has its own reflection on their writing. So when it comes to Shakespearean dramas, so explain a little about... Uh, Shakespearean era and also how it reflects on uh, Othello. Yeah, so with regard to Othello, Othello has been really written uh, after 1601 and before 1604, probably that is considered to be the last period of uh, Queen Elizabeth the first reign. So okay. definitely he has written that during the last period of age and we should not really forget Shakespeare is one of the writers who has really understood the needs of the queen. So probably he has engaged in uh, pleasing the queen as well. And at the same time, he has reflected 
the male dominant society, the barbarian actions which were there in that society. That is why, although the play takes place in Venice, mm -hmm. it has been written for the elite class of England yeah. because he has written that in order to please all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Uh, and also uh, about uh, like uh, now, as a drama, it has uh, when it comes to the structure of the drama. Uh, so uh, it is based on a conflict. And we discuss about the themes also, good versus evil, order versus disorder. It's like uh, always uh, contradictory ideas together. So what, what is the struggle or the conflict? Uh, let's uh, explain for our kids. Yeah. yeah, basically the struggle. And also before I'm going to go into that struggle, basically I should remind you that this drama is basically known as the tragedy of a handkerchief because everything was based on a handkerchief yes. of a misunderstanding of a handkerchief. Mm -hmm. And here in this drama, Shakespeare is more... Uh, she, he has really shown his competencies based on uh, jealousy and the basic struggle is between good and evil. Definitely that is between good and evil. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, jealousy plays a major role here in this drama. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, and at the same time, uh, we can see how the racial segregation takes place. Because uh, more, that's a kind of a phrase which really shows us how uh, deep that racial segregation was there in that particular society and male dominance. Yes. How Desdemona had to be under the governance of uh, his her own father when she was not married and after the marriage, how she had to be under the governance of her husband, yes. Othello. Yes. And how she has not been given a chance even to talk the truth. Although hmm. she has been trying her level best to reveal what has taken place, she was not given a chance at at least. Mm -hmm. That was a kind of pathetic situation that shows what kind of a place has been given to the female during that period. So there yeah. we can understand how male chauvinism has taken place in that society as well. And how jealousy has taken place is quite directly shown us through the most black character, Iago. And jealousy with uh, reference to like, or oh, with uh, the perspective of different characters, you know, when it comes to Iago or when it comes to Shakespeare, the sexual jealousy. Exactly, because sexual jealousy is really taken place with Othello because Othello could not uh, bear up the fact that uh, Desdemona was having an affair with Cassio with regard to uh, Iago because Iago was the person who made him believe that there is a kind of a sexual intercourse between Cassio and Desdemona because the pure intention behind that was Iago to avenge yeah. the given position to Cassio. That was the reason. Yes. So uh, like uh, when it comes to uh, Shakespeare's intention, in Othello, like it is, uh, Othello, it's one of the major tragedies uh, Shakespeare wrote. So uh, when it comes to Othello, what do you think his uh, main intention, like main intention was what, what we can uh, find out like? Yes. So according to my personal belief, I think he's trying to give us how jealousy takes place, how, what kind of a de destruction can cause by this jealousy. Because Othello was seriously blindfolded by Iago because of this jealousy. He could not really listen to his wife and he was not in a state of mind even to listen and to see what was really happening. That was really pathetic. Because in, on the other hand, Shakespeare was really skillful enough to make Iago as a kind of an evil character in his drama because yes. he has done his status really well where mm -hmm. he made Othello to believe in that fabricated story. Mm -hmm. So I believe how love is taking place and what are the sacrifices that you have to do in a love relationship yes. and what will jealousy would do if that is going to intermediate in between a love relationship. <laughs> and also appearance versus reality is another thing, especially with regard to the character of Iago. Yes. Okay. So then uh, finally, then uh, when the students are selecting Othello uh, as a drama, then we most of the time, uh, 
we we actually start uh, to do othello at the beginning because they need time to be familiar with the text so then um, in order to understand the plot and uh, the techniques and you know, in order to be familiar with shakespearean language uh, how can we help them what are the tips you can suggest for them yeah so miss kavindi when i'm going to tell you about this particular uh, thing mm -hmm. shall i tell you about my personal experiences sure. that is what actually they need <laughs> yes. okay. so as a student what i did was when i had to uh, learn shakespeare even at the first i was also like oh my god do i have to do all this and how am i going to understand mm -hmm. then i was thinking oh, okay fine okay one, one more I question to... uh, mr ja yeah. uh we, we when we were doing we did macbeth so what, what did you do when <laughs> Macbeth. You and I did Macbeth. Okay. I think we did the last batch for the Macbeth. Ah, okay. 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 Carry on. Yeah. Yeah. So the first, uh, the first thing that I did was actually mm -hmm. that has been told by, uh, told by Mrs. Raja Singham, who was my uh, literature teacher okay. during my A level. She okay. asked us to, yeah, she asked us to do, she asked us to uh, do some things. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing was she asked us to watch the movie. In BBC version, she insisted uh -huh. upon watching BBC version because she said that we can find out the exact dialogues there. True, true to the word. Of course, you will follow the same drama for hours. You uh -huh. will start living in the drama. Just believe my words. That's a kind of a perfect and an effective method. What then? What will happen is you will automatically fall in love with the drama. Mm -hmm. Uh, rather, rather than getting fed up with it no otherwise like when they get stuck with the language they get fed up right yeah. exactly Ms. that is what will happen that is what we have to get rid of at the very beginning so when you are in love with the drama when you know the subject matter you really need to know oh my god what is going to happen seriously what is taking place yeah then you will come to the conflicts and everything then mm -hmm. that will be easy then you can just follow for the second time you can start following the drama with with the videos mm -hmm. and there are some youtube video clips as well which should be really useful for the students mm -hmm. and the simplest thing the mm -hmm. final simplest thing that you can do is you can find out the drama uh, without going for the penguin version there are some versions where they have the drama the original version on one page and on the front page they have the simplified version that yeah. will help them a lot i'm quite sure yes um like uh, like a translation no shakespearean language and the simplest yes. version of that okay yes. so uh anything else can we suggest now uh let's uh, forget about othello so then uh, most of the uh, our students uh, we have a lot of uh, students doing uh, english literature for their a levels and uh, some of them actually they have not done uh, literature for the o levels and they have directly selected the uh, a level literature english literature so uh, if a child uh, selects english lit literature uh, at the beginning like uh, even without doing all level literature then uh, what are the uh, uh, suggestions like how can they approach to the subject uh, uh, when selecting uh, the text or like how can you help them like uh, can you do give some suggestions like how to improve their language or how to improve how how to uh, especially how to uh, make them have an interest towards English uh, literature. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Uh, Actually, yeah. Basically, Ms. Kavindi, when we are talking about A-level literature, A-level literature is really considered to be as the first language. Yes. It's known as English as well, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And as a part of that, we have literature as well. So mm -hmm. definitely, it doesn't have any uh, relationship, any uh, direct relationship with all level literature, because this is completely different from what we have been doing up to all levels. Yeah. I'm just telling this just because automatically in A levels, this is turned out to be the first language. Mm -hmm. That means if we are going to select English, mm -hmm. that means we are going to do that subject as if we are doing that for our doing that in as our first language yes. so definitely what we have to do is we have to improve our grammar that is the basic thing yeah definitely that will be the first thing so yes. if someone is going to select english at the a levels they have to have a thorough knowledge about grammar yeah that's the first 
And the other thing, no one should really be afraid of selecting English mm -hmm. or literature at the A level. Because uh, English consists of two papers. The first paper is literature and the second paper is language. Mm -hmm. So definitely, they should not really be afraid of the papers mm -hmm. or the subject. Mm -hmm. Because literature is all about life. When you get to know about the subject matter, you will yes. really feel that you have also at least once. Yes. Once well, in your life. You have only the thing is you have to be familiar with the language first. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's, it's just, uh, yes, it's about life. So uh, yes. actually you can learn about life. No, it's uh, yeah. uh, yes, it's all, it's all about events. life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but okay. Grammar and all. Yes, actually. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Miss Teja Kapurge, joining with us and sharing your valuable ideas with us and spending your time with our students. Uh, so uh, I hope to join with you once again with another video. Thank you very much once again. Uh, I wish you all the best for everything, for your masters and everything. So let's meet with another video soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.